All right, how's it going, YouTube? It's your boy Matt with yet another video with River Height Shy. Sorry for taking the week off or I'm posting it very late, um, but it's because Sneaker Fest was going on this week. I was working to make up for me taking off Saturday, but it was all worth it because we went to Sneaker Fest and it was well worth it. Um, I went there for the sole purpose of one shoe and one shoe only. If they had other shoes, I definitely would have cop it. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have like the uh, Nike Dunk Chicago 75th Anniversary Edition. There's only one guy who had them, but they were all grade school sizes. I was looking for personal pairs. Um, the only other thing I saw that was catching my eye was the Jordan 1 um, Origin Stories, the Spider-Man joints. Uh, someone had that uh, in a used pair, but I didn't want to drop that kind of money this close to Christmas. Um, the only way I would do it is if he was looking to buy some of the shoes I had, but he wasn't really, he, he was just lowballing them, like well under retail price for some of the shoes. So I was just like, uh, this guy's hustling. I'm not, I'm not all about it. So I dipped out of his site, but I did cop three items. We'll save the good one for last. We'll start off with probably the least hype, which I was also shocked that they had. Uh, this one guy had all the clothing and the hats as well of the new Jordan Off-White uh, collab. Uh, obviously, the shoe dropped, uh, I believe it was yesterday, actually. Yeah, it was yesterday. So uh, Off-White dropped that uh, Jordan 2 model. And with the Jordan 2, he also dropped a bunch of the clothes. Uh, all the clothes were expensive too. They were like $300 for everything. It was insane, but I did enjoy the hat and you know, so I got the hat from him. Um, so I believe retail was 60. He was only asking 70. So it was only $10 more. So I was like, as long, hi Buffy. You want to say hi to everyone on YouTube? Come on down, buddy. Come on down. Here, let's get you down. Yo. Sorry about that. Anyways, so he was only asking $10 over the retail price. I was willing to go up to $80, but when he said $70, I'm like, cool, awesome. I dig the color. So it's just got your uh, Jumpman logo. It says Jordan, and it does say off. It's very hard to see it. It's right there in the middle. And then we got the nice little signature on the back. Obviously, it's kind of iconic with the Jordan 2 shoe that came out. It's got the signature on it. And then on the side panel, it's got a bunch of the off-white logos. Um, I just dig the color. I think the color is nice. I can rock this. Uh, it's a very nice color to rock during the fall and winter time. I can easily rock this with the um, Travis Scott's that I have. So the olive joints, that will go nice with it. Also, I could probably rock this hat for Christmas. Um, I already have my outfit set, which leads on to the next item. We got ourselves, let's take off the tag here that he was selling it. We got ourselves the Supreme Mariah Carey uh, Christmas tee. So this right here, um, got it for 70 bucks, which is a really nice, decent price for it. Uh, I know if you go to like any hype store, they're probably charging about a hundred bucks for these. So it's not bad. So this is obviously going to complete my Christmas outfit. We'll rock the green Jordan hat with it. And I have now in the collection my uh, Kobe 6 Grinches. So my outfit is set for Christmas and I can't wait. Now for the big ticket item that I did end up getting, I did get one pair of shoes. We will bring out the box right here. Weird that you don't have anything on the front of the box. Um, he usually has it right there on the front. But as you can probably tell, just by this simple look of the box, you might know what it is already. Um, but yeah, so the label doesn't even say anything about it. There's no code or anything, no colorway, but if you open it up, boom, you see it right there. It does say foam on the inside box. It says runner and here we have it. The Yeezy foam runner Vermillions. And man, are these awesome. 
Um, I've never had a pair of the foam runners yet. This was my first time. I wanted to get these uh, Red Octobers, I call them. I'm not going to call it the Vermilions. I'm just going to call these the Red Octobers. Um, I went true to size, size 10. That's my true to size. And it fits like a glove. So um, anyone who doesn't own a pair of foam runners, I say go true to size. I know a lot of Yeezy items tell you uh, to size up and stuff like that. I'm telling you right now with foam runners, true to size, way to go. Um, I already tried these on and these feel amazing. These are so comfortable. I can see right now this is going to be like my everyday shoe. Like, oh, I got to quickly run to, uh, you know, to Mariano's or Jewel. Okay, I'm putting these on to go uh, grocery shopping. Um, stuff like that. Or I'm just going to have a lounging day, taking these. Something I could easily just throw in the car. Be like, okay, I'm off work. We're going straight to like a dive bar. I don't want to wear a nice pair of shoes at a dive bar. It's scummy in the dive bar. These, rock these. Super easy to clean up afterwards. Um, I love the color red they went with it. It's like a dark maroonish red. I wouldn't even say maroon, but it's a darker red. It's not like a vibrant red. Um, and let me grab this hat right here. So, here's a hat right here. Yeah, I know, Pokemon hat, Halloween costume, all right? You can see right here that you can tell how vibrant of a red this is and how much darker this one is. But it's not like a maroon red. So, but yeah, I will say if you're not a fan of the colorway, sure, I get it, it's loud, but these are a comfortable shoe. It's outlandish, sure. But these are so comfortable. But if you don't like the color, go with any of the other ones. Um, you know, the more neutral tone ones, you will not be disappointed. Um, so I definitely recommend it. They're not going for too much either. Uh, every, bo every booth had them. Every booth had them selling for $250. i am cool with $250. Um, if you get it on like StockX, you're pretty much going to be paying about 240, 245 after fees and stuff like that. So it's not that bad of a deal. And then you get it right then and there. I legit checked it, you know, took my uh, black light to the box, made sure there was no Chinese markings on it or anything like that. So, but yeah, this is my pickup for Sneaker Fest. Obviously, I got footage of the fest and I will also put uh, video footage afterwards of the items on body. Uh, but other than that, till next time, peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch how we move, they gon' turn.